I've just got back from a proper look around the Go Outdoors store in Derby. I went around the whole store, including the clothing, footwear, tents, sleeping kit, gear, basically the whole shop. Now, if you're new to the channel, just be aware that I focus at the kind of budget end of the spectrum when it comes to clothing and gear. So I'm looking at the cheapest stuff or up to kind of mid range is my maximum. So I'm gonna take you around and show you what they've got. So when you get into the shop, you're greeted by the clothing on the left hand side. So this Peter Storm jacket caught my eye for £32. I haven't tried any Peter Storm stuff myself yet, but if you have, drop a comment and let me know what it's like. I found this Craghopper's fleece for £24. It's a full zip fleece. Now I do prefer a full zip fleece because they're easier to get on and off, less faffing about. They did have a quarter zip Peter Storm fleece as you came into the shop for £12 though. They'd also got Craghopper's fleeces with a quarter zip for £20, so it's all personal preference really and what you like to wear. This regatta top looked decent for £15. It's a really thin fleece, this one, so it's good for a, a layer for spring and summer. Then they got what they called a hybrid jacket, which was basically a thin outer layer with a little bit of insulation on the front and the back, and that was £25. Moving on to trousers, they got some Peter Storm line trousers for £20 and these really thin unlined trousers that are ideal for spring and summer for £17. Now it does still drop quite cold at night, even in spring and summer, so they got this insulated Peter Storm jacket for £22. At this price, it's obviously not a down jacket. It is filled with a synthetic insulation. It's 100% recycled, so it won't pack down as small as a down jacket would, but it will keep you warm and it will give you a layer of insulation. In the sale as well, they've got these Brasher thermal trousers for £36 which is quite a lot in terms of the product itself, but for that brand, for Brasher trousers, that's a good deal. They've got a decent range of t-shirts on offer, two for £25 and some were two for £35. These ones are all cotton though, so they're okay to wear sort of day to day, but I wouldn't wear a cotton t-shirt if you're out for a hike or a camp because you want something that's really breathable and is gonna wick sweat and moisture away from your body. Onto the footwear, they've obviously got a huge range of boots and shoes, all different kinds from thick, leather boots to lightweight, breathable Gore-Tex boots, depending on what you prefer to wear and your own personal preference. I think these are a very good buy, these Peter Storm boots. They look exactly the same as the Freedom Trail ones that I've got. I've had them for a couple of years now. I think I paid £25 for them on sale and they have lasted. They're really comfortable once you've bedded them in and I still wear them now. They've got some Peter Storm, they look like suede boots for £35. And the next ones up, the sort of leatherette ones, the ones I'm talking about, the £45 ones. I'd say they're definitely worth a look. Heading upstairs to the tents. They have got quite a few tents on display in the Derby store. There's a big area upstairs where you can see them all and obviously get in them and see how big they are. They're still selling the Van Gogh Nova 200, which is the tent that I first bought when I started wild camping. My first ever camp was in a Van Gogh Nova 200. We've still got it, my nephew's got it, so one day he'll go out and try it, but it's definitely gone up in price. I think I paid 90 pounds for it two or three years ago, and it's 145 pounds now. They got the OEX Fox 2 on display. This is a similar sort of design to the Mountain Warehouse backpacker tent. If anything, this one did look a little bit higher inside. I think you would just be able to sit up inside this one. And I know this is quite a popular tent amongst wild campers. They got this Hyena 2, tent on display for £65 or half on display. It seemed to have fallen in on itself. This is a decent size, but it is very heavy and it's fiberglass poles. So not something that I would recommend really. The pack size was huge on it as well. The OEX Bobcat 1 for £110. I did have quite a good look about of this tent because it's one that I have considered for myself. Looking at reviews on YouTube, it does seem really quite small and constrained inside. And that would be the only problem for me. There is a guy out point on the back that pulls out the back of the tent to give you a little bit more space inside, but I think it'd just be a little bit too small and too cramped in there for me, unfortunately. And then on the back wall upstairs, they've got all the actual tents that you can just grab and buy, as well as a load of things like bivy bags and tarps. So we've got the OEX Bush Pro bivy for £45. There's Salamander Hooped bivy as well. They'd also got a few tents on the shelf that weren't on display. So they've got the Banshee 200 for £144. The Nix 200, is still in stock, quite a decent starter tent. An OEX Expedition tarp for £29. Got the Eurohike Backpacker 2 DLX tent, which is worth a look for £49. They're also still selling the Tamar or Tamar 2 tent, which I've used before on a previous budget camp and is definitely worth a look if you're just starting out. They've got meals in there from Firepot, 
Wayfarer and Adventure Food. These are all buy one get one half price. The Firepot ones were £7.50. The Adventure Food ones I think were £6 and then the Wayfarer ones were £5. I did grab some of those while I was in there so I'll show you those at the end of the video. They've got quite a decent range of stoves on display and on sale. They've got the MSR Pocket Rocket which is kind of a classic stove amongst wild campers. They've got your jet boils and they've also got the Trangier cook sets on display there as well. And then obviously you can get your gas canisters, your gas, and any fuel that you need for the stoves there as well. They also sell the BCB Fire Dragon stoves in there. These are £1.47, as well as the fuel blocks as well. These are really handy to take out on day hikes or if you just want a nice, relaxed, chilled camp. Something dead simple that's not going to break to boil up some water on. Moving on to sleeping bags. So on offer they've got this Van Gogh 250 sleeping bag for £34. Now this will give you some insulation but it's not suitable for sort of freezing temperatures. The comfort rating on this one's 9 degrees and the limit 5 degrees. So this is really a sort of warm night, spring and summer kind of bag. But for £34 it'll be well made and decent quality and good enough for a wild camp. So they've got quite a lot to cover all sorts of different temperature ratings and comfort levels. So it's worth getting into store and having a look if at all possible. On the display of random bits they've got a smidge head net for £6. It won't be long before we need to crack those out again and start using them. Springs come in and along with it all the midges, mosquitoes and flies will be out as well. There's a few different choices for head nets and things like that. You've got a Life Systems one that's more of a hat and pulled away from your face and then OEX ones as well. There are a few different pillow options on the shelves as well. This Van Gogh one was a decent sized inflatable. There wasn't a price on this one though so I'll have to look on the website to check. They got this X-Ped one which was again inflatable, quite a decent size, similar sort of size to the Trekology Aluft but for £28 a lot more expensive. They got this OEX self-inflating pillow as well that was quite interesting. I've never tried one so if you have drop a comment and let me know. On to rucksacks, they got the classic Nepal 65, it's £30 now but it has been as cheap as £20 in the past. It is a really good rucksack if you're just getting started and you want something to throw all of your gear in and take out for a camp. Other rucksacks in stock, they tended to focus more on day bags and sort of travel bags that you take on the airplane and stuff like that. They've got the Osprey Stratos 236. Now I've got the original one, I didn't know they bought out a second version of it. This is a pure grey rucksack. The original one's got some lime green on it. I'm not sure what the technical differences are. But this one again has got these weird straps that go around the side pockets. The Exos that I bought recently had that as well. I don't know why Osprey have done this, but you can't root those straps inside the pockets anymore in a lot of these bags. Whereas the original one's got a hole for you to root those inside so that you can still get things in and out of the side pockets while you're wearing the bag essentially. So I don't know why they've done that. So at the bigger end of the spectrum, they've got this Technicals rucksack for £45, an OEX one for £90. This looked quite a similar design to the Nepal 65 that's only £30 though, so I'm not sure I'd spend three times the amount of that to get the OEX one. Zero height 25 litre pack, looks like quite a decent day bag for just £12. Then at the top end at £247 they've got this Atmos AG65 from Osprey. And with rucksacks, even if you're not planning on buying one from Go Outdoors, I would recommend getting into store to try one on because they do feel very different to different people. What I think is the most perfect rucksack in the world, you might find really uncomfortable and you know, be unable to wear it. So get into the store if they've got them in stock, throw a load of gear into it, put some weight into it and try it on, have a little walk around just to make sure that you're getting the right bag for you. In terms of sleep mats, they had a few that were on display in the shop, but they did seem to be uninsulated ones or self-inflating ones. I didn't see any sort of thermarests or anything branded like that. So again, I've said it before, if you're just spring and summer camping and that's all you intend to do, an uninsulated mat with a foil mat should be okay. But anything outside of that, it's worth spending a bit more money on an insulated mat if you can. They've got a load of different dry bags and dry sacks as well. These do seem a little bit expensive to me. You can get them a lot cheaper on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to a, a multi-pack that's got all different sizes in it for about 11 or 12 quid, I think it is. They've got quite a few different knives available as well. So the kind of staple up and L knives for about nine or 10 pound, depending on which one you're looking for, as well as book knives and a few other brands that were there on display, if that's the kind of thing that floats your boat. You've got all different maps and compasses available as well. 
and your survival kit. So I'd always recommend carrying at least a survival blanket in your first aid kit. And then speaking of first aid kits, I did have a load of sort of pre-built, pre-configured kits available off the shelf. But I've done a video before on my own first aid kit. It does work out a lot cheaper if you just put your own kit together. They've got a load of different head torches on display that you could try out. For me, if you've seen previous videos, I've been using the Decathlon, I think it's a 4 class Trek 100 head torch for a good few months now. And I'm not looking for anything else, basically. I'm happy with that. It does what I need it to do. I don't need another one. So I got myself, as I said, four dehydrated meals. I'm planning a multi-day trip at the end of May where I'll be out in the Peak District for three days, two nights and three days. So I'm stocking up on food ready for that. So I've got a couple of fire pot meals at Orzo, pasta bolognese, chili con carne with rice. I haven't tried those before, so I'm looking forward to those. And then I got a couple of adventure food meals. I thought I'd got two different ones, but I actually just got two pasta bolognese. Must have been my inner bolognese demon kicking in there. I will mention as well, because I know I'll get comments from people about the Go Outdoors membership. Now, if you're shopping in a Go Outdoors store or online, you do have to pay for a membership card. It's £5 for the year. Now, personally, I find it a bit weird that you have to do that. I don't think it's the right thing to do, but it's the way that they work and, you know, they're free to do that. It's worth noting that Go Outdoors is the same company as Millets, Blacks and Ultimate Outdoors, I think it is as well as probably a few others as well. And they do price match, so you know you are free to go to the other shops and buy things at this price. Also, if you do tend to buy quite a few things from there, and you know, you'll soon make that five pound back anyway. So for me, it's not a massive issue, but I know a lot of people just don't like the principle of it and don't agree with paying for a five pound a year membership. So that's all they've got in there at the minute. As I said, I've got a three day trip planned in the next few weeks, as well as a load of other camps around that as well. So if all this is the kind of stuff that tickles your pickle, click subscribe, come along, and I'll see you next time.